Hey guys, we just received our first trailer for season five for episode one, Evolution. And before we even get into it, warning, it's crazy. So to begin, we're immediately getting our first look of Gabriel and the Kwamis after capturing them, as well as a look at all the miraculouses on Gabriel and in camouflage mode. And while Gabriel's on the phone with Natalie, who appears to still be on the train, it seems that Gabriel was explaining his plan, possibly about wearing all of the miraculous to which Natalie shows a very obviously concerned look. And even in the season 4 finale, Natalie goes again to show concern towards Gabriel and his plan, which has me wondering if she'll try and convince him to stop before it's too late. While she's been very persistent on reassuring Gabriel that he's doing the right thing and that he shouldn't give up, she too cares for him and I'm sure wouldn't want to see him push himself over the edge. Monarch then heads into Bunnix's barrow, where we actually see Bunnix, Ladybug, and Cat Noir all in, and as Ladybug tries to stop him, that's when chaos happens. Now, considering we're seeing Bunnix there with not just Ladybug, but also Cat Noir, it seems to me that she'll be recruiting them in hopes to help them fix the situation, that is, until they're interrupted. Or vice versa, and Ladybug ended up calling Bunnix first. And so, from the multiple cutscenes we get, we can see Monarch throw Ladybug across the barrow, as well as create multiple illusions of himself using the Fox Miraculous and use the Bee Miraculous in order to paralyze Bunnix, which ultimately leads to Cat Noir unifying himself with Fluff and you guys. I am always so excited to see new unifications, but when it comes to Cat Noir getting new ones, I am over the moon. And so as Monarch begins to time travel in the past, we can actually see where it is they're taking place since we get glances of the akumatized villains from the background and overall setting, with the first being back in Repost, then Hero's Day, where Monarch is extremely close to finding out Ladybug and Cat Noir's identity, a classic battle of father versus son, and as Monarch finally seems to have a moment to himself, we can actually see a moment in the past between Emily and Gabriel, where the two are having a picnic, and even see Gabriel carrying Emily, which might just be him simply carrying her, or because at that point in time, Emily was already beginning to feel the effects of using the broken miraculous. Now, after seeing Natalie hand over what looks like a USB drive, she goes to say, yes, there is a way to fix the magic charm, so that Emily will never get sick using it. You only need to get the pen drive to yourself. Do the right thing. It's not too late. To which Gabriel responds to by saying, it's time to rewrite the story. Which has me wondering all sorts of things, such as whether or not they've found a solution that wouldn't involve needing Ladybug or Cat Noir's Miraculous, if the drive will actually be used in this episode, or if possible, be held onto until later on this season and reappear in an episode like recreation, and whether or not this will affect Adrian, and when I say that, I mean in terms of his existence, because by the sounds of it, it seems like they still want Emily in the past to be able to use the charm, which by the translation, I'm assuming would be the Peacock Miraculous, but this time not get sick from it, or just never get the idea of the Miraculouses to begin with, as in the end, if Gabriel's wish goes down and it involves Emily never using the Miraculous, that will mean that Adrian will cease to exist. And I know I practically mentioned this point in all of my season 5 videos, but because this will mark the ending of the aggressed arc, I could actually see Adrian perishing away temporarily, which I know sounds dark and possibly even unreal, but this wouldn't be the first time something similar to this has happened on screen in Miraculous. I'm sure many are also confused as to why a pen drive could be the solution to all of this, but a pen drive is a storage device that can even be rewritable. So with that information, I'm curious if back then, when and if Emily was the one to have found interest in the magical jewels, this information of them was possibly stored specifically on that device, and so now Gabriel is trying to erase any evidence of it. But besides that, I'm super intrigued to see how everything will go down in this episode, and why the pen drive will be playing such a vital role, and a reminder that evolution will be airing in a week on Monday, June 13th at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. As always, what do you guys think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one.